Hi, I'm Dr. Anju Majid, uh, Radio Diagnosis, Second Year PG from MMI MSR Mulana Ambala. My topic of paper presentation is Pheochromocytoma. Pheochromocytoma, its imaging appearance on CT and site for metastasis. Introduction, Pheochromocytomas are an uncommon tumor of the adrenal gland with characteristic clinical and to a lesser degree imaging features. The tumors are said to follow a 10% rule. 10% are extra-adrenal, 10% are bilateral, 10% are malignant, 10% are found in children, 10% are not associated with hypertension, and 10% contain tasks. Epidemiology. The estimated prevalence of pheochromocytomas in hypertensive adults is thought to range from 0.1 to 0.6%. The incidence in the general population is believed to be around 0.05% based on autopsy series. Features. As a general rule, tumors in the adrenal region tend to be large at presentation, usually more than 3 cm, with an average size of approximately 5 cm. When confined to the adrenal glands, and especially if suspected clinically, the diagnosis is readily made. Small extra adrenal tumors can, however, be a challenge to find. However, 98% of tumors are in the abdomen, and 90% are confined to the adrenal glands. It is also important to note that it is not possible to distinguish malignant from benign pheochromocytomas, merely on the direct appearance of the mass. Rather, the distinction is made on demonstrating evidence of direct tumor invasion into adjacent organ structures or the presence of metastasis. On CT, CT is the first imaging modality to be used, with an overall sensitivity of 89%. This is on account of 98% of tumors being located within the abdomen and 90% limited to the adrenal glands. Usually large 4 to 6 cm heterogeneous masses with areas of necrosis and cystic change. Density always more than 10 HU. They typically enhance evenly. One third may wash out similar to an adrenal adenoma, but they tend to have greater enhancement in an arterial or portal venous contrast phase. However, overlap with some hyper-enhancing adenomas tend to enhance more on the portal venous phase than the arterial phase. 110 to 120 HU of enhancement on the arterial phase suggests few chromocytomas, but is not specific. Hypervascular metastasis could be considered in an appropriate setting. 10% range, 7 to 12% demonstrate areas of calcification. My aims and objectives are to evaluate post-contrast enhancement pattern in pheochromocytomas to find common site of metastasis in pheochromocytoma or the same three cases of pheochromocytoma which were reported in MMIMSR Mulana Ambala were taken along with their imaging finding and site of metastasis. Cases. The first case was of 60-year-old male patient who had complaints of hypertensive crisis from past years. Second case was a 48-year-old female patient who presented with complaints of severe anxiety and facial flushing, which were present from three months. Third case was a 56-year-old female who complained of pain with heaviness in right hypochondrium with hypertension and diarrhea, which were present from five months. This is case one, showing intense post-contrast enhancement with central necrotic cystic areas and enhancing large metastasis in liver segment four. This is case two, showing moderate intense enhancement on post-contrast scan with central necrotic cystic areas and enhancing hepatic metastasis in segments seven and eight. This is case three, showing intense post-contrast enhancement with central necrotic cystic areas and enhancing metastasis in left lobe of liver. The results from the three cases which were presented above, all three of them were showing moderate to intense post-contrast enhancement with central cystic necrotic areas. The common site of metastasis for all the three cases were liver. Treatment and prognosis. Definitive treatment is surgical and if complete resection is achieved without metastasis, then surgery is curative and hypertension usually resolves. Preoperative medical management is essential in reducing the risk of an intraoperative hypertensive crisis and typically consists of non-competitive alpha-adrenergic blockade. Example, phenoxybenzamine. Later but never before completing 7 to 10 days of alpha blockade, a beta blocker may need to be added to control tachycardia or some arrhythmias. Metastasis from malignant pheochromocytomas typically spread to the lung, bone and liver. 
differential diagnoses are when located in the adrenal gland the differential is essentially that of an adrenal tumor that includes lipid or adrenal adenoma also washes out but often less than 120 hu on an arterial or portal veins contrast phase biochemical testing is useful to help differentiate adrenal cortical carcinoma adrenal metastasis these are my references thank you